Let's break down an underground battle of mine. Focus versus Mr. Fair in Brazil. Focus, focus. Yeah, welcome to the Knowledge Drop by Focus the Flow Mode Crew, bboydojo.com and Cypher Studio Helsinki, Finland. First up, let's start this off with a couple of shout outs. Noe Kapsal, nice channel, beautiful concept, thank you very much, keep going, appreciate it. Tibetan Monkey, these deserve more love, the freshest concept, interview concept of all time, hot runs that is. Executed perfectly, thank you, Focus. Big up. Much appreciated. And hey, love getting comments from you guys. So drop some love below and you, it's possible that you could, you'll be featured in the knowledge drop. And today, let's get down to business. In order to understand the importance of structure in a round, in a battle, let's break down an underground battle of mine that you probably haven't seen before. Focus versus Mr. Fair in Brazil from 2010. Bring on the footage. November 2010, I traveled to Brazil to judge a competition and also do some workshops. I met a bunch of cool people on this trip and we had a great vibe. The city was called Bento Gonçalves, the wine capital of Brazil, down south. We rocked some training sessions in the park with the people. They rocked some graffiti on the walls and I watched. And in one of those sessions, the organizer came up with an idea that, hey, maybe this time we shouldn't do a regular judges showcase in the event. We should do an exhibition battle instead. So yeah, he wanted it to be a little bit different this time and he wanted me to go against one of the best local b-boys, Mr. Fair from Sao Paulo, if I remember the origin right. Even though Sao Paulo was a little bit far, we were down south. I was like, yeah, why not? I felt good vibing with the people, we had a good chemistry, so let's go for it. So we went for four rounds instead of the regular, regular judges round after sitting the whole day, cold, getting, getting up and rocking. Uh, Average round, we went for four rounds instead. Mr. Fair turned out to be funky and he brought some original styles to the table. In 2010, I was in my physical prime this far. I was 27 years old and physically I was in the best shape of my life. So going for four rounds, it's not that hard at the time. I had done a lot of competitions and exhibition battles before it. So I had plenty of stamina, deep content and, and plenty of confidence from the previous battles as well. So I guess something that I succeeded pretty well in this battle was the structure of every single round. If you look at every single one of my rounds over here in this battle, the structure is pretty much similar to this. Starting on top, tops on beat with at least one original concept or step on the top already. Mixing it up with freestyle, of course. But once I drop on the ground level, around four different concepts every single round. I use small moves and combos and concepts to make the rounds more interesting, so it's not just basics. It has an original touch to it, um, but I don't do sets. So I decide everything on the spot, whatever fits the moment and the opponent's round to. With all the material in my arsenal, I'm ready to switch my game plan, whatever I have planned from before, if there is any plans, according to whatever pops in my head during the round or whatever happens at the situation. And even though there's a lot of content in the round, there's still an element of surprise in it. And that makes it more fun, that makes it more relaxed. And that relaxation, that possibility of getting surprised yourself, makes it fun. Now how about power then? How it moves within the rounds? The longer the exhibition battle, or the battle in general, the harder the power is to pull off. So within the rounds, I love to begin with power or blow up, or do it at the very end to make a statement at the end of the round, to make it powerful. The middle of the round doesn't make that much sense when it comes to the storytelling of the round, when we're speaking about power. Even though the content of the round is an important factor, you can't forget about vibing and letting the dance breathe, so it's more enjoyable to watch. It feels more organic in that way, instead of just being stacked up all fully. And once these building blocks fall into place, it's a beautiful feeling to rock to some funky music, especially with an audience like Brazil has. Now next up, take a look at your solos. Watch some footage from your previous battle or circle or practice. And do you find structure within your rounds or is it just random? Do you find a storyline within the round? So there's a time and place for every single piece of the puzzle. Every move is where it's supposed to be, where it belongs to. So the whole picture becomes complete. 
If so, then big up. And if not, then let's get back to work. Next up, head out to bboardojo.com. Join my free footwork workshop at the main page. And I'll see you over there. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.